In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the stress analysis in the case of pure shear stress condition. And we'll find out the normal stress and shear stress at an oblique plane. So let's consider an element of an object which is subjected to pure shear stress condition. So this is our object A, B, C, D, and this is subjected to tau shear stress. So this is tau, this is tau, and in this direction, this is tau. And this on a d phase, this is tau, and this is inclined plane E C, which is inclined at theta degree from vertical plane B C. This is theta in clockwise direction. So we want to find out the stresses on E C plane. So let's draw this here. This is E, this is B, and this is C. Let's say this direction is d x, this is d y and this is ds and this angle is theta and thickness perpendicular to this paper is unit of this element unit thickness of this element perpendicular to this plane and on this inclined plane let's say this is sigma theta and this is tau theta so now and this is tau and this is tau so if we want to find out the force on these faces then force on this b c and e so force on this is tau multiplied by area area of this face would be dy into unit thickness and similarly the force on this plane would be tau multiplied by dx into multiplied by 1 and in this direction there would be a sigma theta into ds into 1 and tangential force in this direction would be tau theta into ds into 1. So again we want to find want to resolve these forces into two directions in the direction of sigma theta and in the direction of tau theta only so if we resolve this these forces here if we resolve these forces so i'll draw this force here this is tau dy and i want to find out resolve these forces into two direction in this direction and in this direction so Again, if this angle is theta, then we can see this angle is also theta. And component of this would be tau into dy sin theta. And this component is tau into dy cos theta. Again, if we want to resolve this force into two components, then this force would be resolved as this is tau dx and I want to resolve in the direction of and in this direction. So if this again, if this angle is theta, then this angle would be theta. If this angle is theta, then we can see this angle would be theta only. And this component would be tau dx sin theta and this component would be tau dx cos theta and now all the forces are resolved into the direction of sigma theta and sigma tau theta and sigma theta so now from the force equilibrium approach so we can say the force equilibrium in the direction of sigma theta so in the direction of sigma theta there are three forces one sigma theta into ds one is tau dy sin theta and one is tau dx cos theta this force 
so here if we apply the force equilibrium in this direction then we can write sigma theta ds minus tau dx cos theta and minus tau dy sin theta is equal to 0. So this force, this force and this force we have written in this equation or we can say sigma all the forces in sigma theta direction is equal to 0. So now we want to find out the sigma theta then sigma theta equals to tau dx cos theta divided by ds plus tau dy sin theta divided by ds. Again this ds can be replaced again if this is dy this is dx this is ds then we can say d y equals to d s cos d s over cos theta and d x is equal to d s over sin theta. So these relationship can be written using this triangle. So here if we replace sigma theta is equal to tau d x cos theta and we replace the d s with the help of these two. So here we can find out the d s is equal to d x over sin theta. So this is sorry, this would be the d s over d y over cos theta and d s over d x over sin theta. So this d x can be written as d x over sin theta and tau d y sin theta and d, this d s can be written as d y over cos theta. So here this dy gets cancelled out, this dx gets cancelled out and sigma theta becomes tau sin theta cos theta plus tau sin theta cos theta and this becomes tau sin 2 theta. So this is tau sin 2 theta. So sigma theta is equal to tau sin 2 theta. Now this is the formula for sigma theta and if we want to find out the or force equilibrium force equilibrium in the direction of tau theta so if we apply the force equilibrium in the direction of tau theta then we can the forces in the tau theta direction there is one force which is tau theta ds one force tau dy cos theta and one this force tau dx sin theta so here we can write <clears throat> tau theta ds minus tau dy cos theta and plus tau dx sin theta is equal to 0 and by using tau theta is equal to we can write tau dy cos theta over ds plus tau dx this is minus and tau dx sin theta over ds again in this equation ds can be replaced so tau theta is equal to tau dy cos theta and ds can be replaced as dy over cos theta so here we can write dy over cos theta and minus tau dx sin theta over ds can be replaced as dx over sin theta so this is dx over sin theta. So this dx and this dy gets cancelled out and we can write tau theta equals to tau cos square theta 
minus tau sin square theta. Again, the tau can be taken as common, and this can be written as tau cos square theta can be written on one plus cos two theta over two, and minus sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos 2 theta over 2 so if we sort out this we'll get tau cos 2 theta so this would be tau cos 2 theta so this is the expression for tau theta at inclined plane in the case of pure shear stress thank you